Jimmy Thang from Maximum PC here at CS 2016. I'm here at uh, MSI's uh, suite speaking with uh, Vincent. Hi. Hey guys. How are you guys doing? And uh, good. Uh, Vincent, can you tell us what we're looking at here? Yeah, this is our latest announcement at CES 2016. It is also an innovation award winner for the show. This is the MSI Vortex, our new gaming tower that we're showcasing here today. And uh, as you can see, uh, it's a very minimalistic design. We're all focused on form factor, but still outputting really high-end performance with really efficient cooling. So this is, this is our newest addition to our entire gaming family of products. And uh, I'll showcase this here, just a little frontal view of the entire system here. You can see the, you know, we got a bit of a light show here. Not nothing too flashy, but uh, you will be able to customize the lighting on the system in the future uh, if you like to. And, uh, and you can tell from the design is very cylindrical and there's a purpose for that design. Um, with the Vortex, it's an extremely you know, high-end system. It is sporting very high-end components like dual 980 desktop graphics cards, also DDR4 memory, as well as uh, lots of storage space, uh, M.2 uh, SSD uh, support as well. So you have uh, multiple options for you to upgrade the system, uh, just like a desktop system, uh, and the processor as well is a socketed processor. So you can essentially upgrade the processor, the storage and the memory as well. And you also have the ability to upgrade the dual graphics cards as well in the future. So the Vortex, uh, with the, uh, the cylindrical design and the high-end components in here, uh, we've designed it this way. Uh, we call it the 360 Science Storm uh, cooling system. And what that means is that uh, we have a really efficiently designed uh, uh, sort of a cyclone okay. cooler. It's like a tornado that like, shoots, <laughs> shoots hot air. It. It's like a tornado that shoots hot air up, right? That's right. It's that, Hence the name Vortex. Um, so we do intake all the air from the bottom. Uh, all of it is dissipated up top here. And there's a large fan here that circulates the air throughout the entire system to ensure that the sta uh, system stays stable as well as uh, performs at an optimal uh, level. So it stays really quiet, uh, even at under heavy load, like running, uh, we have Witcher here running at 4K. Uh, it really stays really whisper quiet. Uh, at the max, probably sound uh, output is around 32 decibels. So you got a really great system for your living room, anywhere in your household almost. And everything, all that power in this one small system here. And uh, we're, you know, we're really looking forward to uh, see how people feel about the design uh, with our new gaming tower. You know, obviously, I think it draws a lot of uh, parallels to uh, Apple's uh, Mac Pro. Yes. Yeah, the trash can, as people call it. Yeah. Um, and can you talk about like what's in this particular system? I believe it's two, two 980s, and that's a desktop 980s. Yes. And a 6700K desktop CPU, right? It is. That that's correct. So, uh, just like I mentioned before, uh, we're still focusing this more. This is like a desktop system where we're trying to focus on the expandability and flexibility of one. So you can still easily upgrade those components. Uh, just like a desktop uh, gaming PC, uh, just more form factor design. So you do have a lot of uh, high-end components there and actually a lot of ports if you want to expand uh, the amount of uh, displays you want in your house uh, running on the system. So uh, if you want to take a look at the ports back here, I know we got a lot of things connected, but uh, there are plenty of ports for you to you know, add on any uh, screens. It can support actually up to six displays. We have two Thunderbolt ports, uh, two mini display ports, two HDMI ports, I believe four uh, USB 3.0 or 3.1 uh, USB ports as well. And uh, so we got plenty of, uh, plenty of ports for doing whatever you want to do, connected to whatever you want to. Um, and of course, obviously with the amount of uh, power and ports available, uh, if you guys are uh, starting to get ready for VR, this is also VR ready too. Uh, a perfect system for gaming, uh, VR gaming in the future as well. Uh, can you talk about the, the storage? Is it only M.2? Does it take traditional uh, you know, SATA SSDs? Does it take hard drives? Yes, it does. It, it does have slots available for traditional uh, st uh, standard hard drive space um, and as well as M.2 uh, SSD support as well. So I believe there are up to four slots available for M.2 SATA SSDs and one slot available for your uh, standard uh, SSD or hard drive space. 
Cool. And uh, this is, uh, I'm guessing it's air-cooled? It, it is air-cooled, yes. It is air-cooled for now. Um, I don't know if there are plans to change that to water cooling or not in the future, <laughs> but uh, as of right now, yes, uh, it is just air-cooled. Cool. And can we get uh, like a price and release date? So pricing, I, I believe, starts around 1999 for our lower end configuration, which will be dual 960 desktop graphics, and then uh, probably all the way up to around three to four thousand for our highest end configuration with the dual 980 desktop graphics cards. Um, and I believe the release date will be around Q2 of this year. Awesome. Thank you, Vincent. Yeah. Thank you, guys.